and booze. Today, we got this here barrel aged gin from Fuse Spirits, and I'm just tickled pink to have a chance to taste this one and tell you all about it. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we reviewed the Fuse Spirits rye and uh, also the bourbon. Now, this here, the Fuse Spirits rye, was awarded craft distillery spirit of the year from whiskey advocates so they making some crazy good stuff and if you want to learn about what makes the stuff so good go back to my youtube reviews and check out uh the the, the rye and the bourbon review and i'll tell you all about it now today though we got the barrel gin now what is barrel gin well, it's aged gin. See, what they do is they take a gin and then they stick it in a bourbon barrel or a rye barrel or some kind of whiskey barrel. And it gives the gin uh, the color and some of the barrel flavor. And so the way these play out, and these are so cool. There's a few of them out there. There ain't a whole heck of a lot of them. But I love it. And that's what I love about this craft spirits thing that's going on right now. Um, when you take a gin and age it in a barrel, you create an almost like a double flavored spirit. You get the gin up front, and then after you swallow, you get the barrel stuff going on. So um, the spirit kind of don't know whether it's gin or it's bourbon. It's really like a combination of both. It's cool as all hell and wonderful for sipping. So this one here, the color one, it's just nice and dark. All the few stuff is, is uh, dark by nature um, of how they... Uh, handle this spirit and how they age it. They use a little bit smaller size barrels and get a nice char in the barrel and in a short amount of time they can get the barrel doing all the things that they want to do to get the barrel to impart the flavor that they're looking for. Alright so now let's get in this here gin, this barrel aged gin and see what we smell it. I had to put some in the glass and let it open up like I normally do for bourbon because that always works the best. You get the juniper notes from the gin. You get the citrus notes, the licorice and fennel and anise notes, the spicy tones, then the honey tones. Then you get the wood, all the char that you're smelling in here, a few vanilla tones, toffee tones. The nose is mesmerizing. And it's funny because it kind of tricks you a little bit because you're thinking, is this gin or is this bourbon? It's like both. Let's give a taste and see what we think. Mmm. Woo! This is a big boy here. I ain't going to lie to you. It's absolutely phenomenal. But it's got a lot of heat to it. It is. I think at about 93. 93 per roof. 46.5% alcohol by volume. It's got so much flavor. It's like flavor squared. or flavor uh, jacked up to, to levels beyond mankind. And that's what few do. If you don't uh, just put a, f uh, a few minutes of effort into the spirits, they put a whole lot of effort, and they're very flavor forward. What I'm picking up here, I love this. You get the classic gin notes. You get the juniper. You get the spiciness from all the other botanicals that they got in here. And I don't know, and I forgot to ask Paul Letko about what botanicals he's using. Uh, but you can smell... Uh, there's a lot of the classical botanicals. I'm getting something like some clove in here, a little bit of star anise. Uh, you're getting some, some rind, some peels off of citrus fruits. You're getting maybe like some angelica and grains of paradise in here maybe. Uh, definitely some coriander notes. You're picking all that up. But then, the minute it gets in the back of your palate and you swallow, BAM! It just like changes over to the bourbon profile, and it's just mesmerizing. Man, I, I, I don't know what kind of cocktails you can make out of this, but I'm sure there's somebody out there playing around with this, and I can just think that the possibilities are probably uh, endless. Let's give another shot, see if I'm picking up anything else in here. 
It's just so, it's so enticing on the nose. You can spend hours just smelling it. Heck, you don't even have to drink it. You do have to drink it. Let's try one more uh, taste here. Mm. The anise tones are very pronounced. And it's not real forward on the juniper like a lot of other gins, and that's kind of like what I like about it. Because the licorice tones of the anise, or fennel, they pair really well with the dark tones, the wood char tones from the barrel. And that's what makes this so mesmerizing, I think. This is just... This is crazy. This is crazy. You don't come across stuff like this every day. And that's why we got to all support our craft distilleries because they doing things. The big boys ain't going to set up their big old equipment and, and run millions of bottles of the stuff. No. You got to go to craft distilleries and pick up the artisan stuff. And that's why we love doing craft spirits reviews. So now, you got to... Uh, you got to uh, get online here and check these guys out. Let me see what the website is again. Uh, because, oh, here it is on the back of the bottle. Fewspirits.com. They make some of the best craft bourbon rye. They also make regular gin and this barrel here, gin. And who knows what else is in the works. I'm loving what they're doing. And I recommend that you pick the spirits up if you can find them. I'm E-Man Booze. Check me out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, MainStreetDistilleries.com. I write the Distillery of the Month column for them. And uh, so lots of good stuff coming out of Chicago here with this Few Spirits uh, Barrel Aged Gin. Bye, you all!